from the beautiful Treasure Coast of Florida. You're watching Am Radio Concepts. Hey everyone, this is Eric, KJ4YZI, Ham Radio Concepts. And I uh, just wanted to make a newer updated video for a quick start on the Bofeng handheld. I'm not going to do a review here. I'm not going to do an extensive programming. Just, just concerned that there's some people I still talk to that are new hams that are getting these radios and they're unable to use them. They think they have to program them right out of the box. They can't use it. They're confused. Uh, people that are not used to menu-driven radios like this uh, or the newcomer to the hobby. This is just going to be a fast video to show you how the, the, the quickest way just to get on a repeater and then worry about programming later or not have to program at all. If you just want one repeater setting, it can be right here. I don't necessarily program when I use these. I just on the fly throw in a frequency and it's just as fast for me. So this is the UV5R TP 8 watt, GT3 Mark II 4 watt, and a UV5R 4 watt. But the purpose of showing you three is they're all the same. This, this programming Quick start will work on any Bofeng radio uh, from the UV5R up. They're all the BFF8+, plus, the 8 watts, the 4 watts, they're all the same. So for this demo, I'm just going to use the GT3. All right, And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first reset the radio. You got a menu, I got it locked here. Okay, I'm going to go to menu, reset all. This is going to reset it so I can just show you how fast you can get into a repeater. Um, okay, it just reset. It's a stock radio. Fastest way to do this, you need your offset, your tone, and your frequency. Okay, so here's what we'll do. First, we'll type in the repeater frequency. So in my case, the one I'm going to be using is 146640. At this point, I can monitor the repeater. I can't talk through it, but I can listen to it. That's the output of the repeater. Now, next thing you want to do, type in uh, push menu and type in 26. That would be your offset. Leave that alone. It should be the 0.600 uh, offset already for VHF. And on UHF, it should be 5 megahertz offset. So we're not going to mess with that. So uh, again, menu 26 will be your offset. Then you just type in 25, that will be your shift. You can push menu and manipulate it with the arrows up or down if you want a positive or negative shift. In this situation, it's negative. And then we'll type in, hit menu, and now we'll type in 13. 13 is the tone. So push menu again, and you go up to 1037 is the tone I need. I'm sorry, 107.2 is the tone for my local repeater. That's it. At this at this point, I can key up the repeater. Okay. Uh, to slow it down, in case you missed it, I'll do this again. Type in the repeater frequency. Okay. Menu. Twenty six is your offset. Twenty five is your shift, and thirteen is your tone. Okay. If you want to change this, you push menu on the option you're on. Up and down arrows to change it. And then menu to confirm. All right, same thing for the, let's go to 25. If you want to change that, push menu. The arrow will drop down to the bottom. You change it, plus or minus, push menu to confirm. If you just hit menu and you change it, and then you hit exit, it's not going to save your changes. All right, but those are the three menu options you need to get onto the repeater. Uh, so if you want to just program it for one repeater on the fly and not have to worry about hooking it to the computer and getting the software, you can hold the pound, pound key and now you see the little lock symbol up here by the battery. So that's going to lock the keypad. Now you can't accidentally change the settings. All you have is transmit and volume active. And that may be useful for some people that just want to buy this for one repeater and not have to program all of them in there. Um, and uh, the same thing works for all the other models of Bofeng, okay? One, four, six, six, four, zero. Menu, 26 is the offset. 25 is the shift. And 13 is the tone. Done. You'll notice. 
GT3 has a way better receive than this. This one's crackling, so I like the GT3. But uh, that's it. That's the fastest way to get on there, and uh, hope that made it quick for the newcomer to a Bofung or amateur radio. This is KJ4YZI73.